Hey guys, this is a video for one of our members who's having trouble. He's got an, uh, a young team, an 06 team, and they're playing really strong teams. Wondering if uh, like a 1-2-2 two, two in the neutral zone would be effective uh, trying to sort of trap traditionally. And he knows he doesn't want to do it, but he thinks he might have to do it. And the one problem with trying to introduce that to young players is they'll end up standing still and probably just get burned with lots of speed. So... I'm going to suggest that in the offensive zone, if they can get pressure, to let one player at least forecheck really, really hard and just try to be a pest. But yeah, the other two are kind of hanging back like F3s a little bit, waiting for the play to come up a little. So you're kind of only sacrificing uh, one lamb to the wolves here. But the most important thing against strong teams is that as you back check, everyone is coming back through the middle and trying to plug up this middle area. That's uh, that's the best chance you have against a good team. If you're back checking down the walls or everyone's kind of staying in their lanes, there's just too much space in here and uh, it, you can get into a lot of trouble. Um, and again, let's flip this around. Pretend this is the uh, defensive zone now instead of the offensive zone. Uh, the most important area to cover is to collapse into this area, into the fort. Okay, if you try to play too perfect position and you're really spread out in the defensive zone against a really strong team, then there's just too many seams and lanes for them to attack. So you probably want to uh, just plug. If the puck's in, in the fort here, that all five players need to be in the fort helping. And you're just trying to whack at pucks and get them into less dangerous areas of the ice. Okay, so... Uh, Jay, I'm thinking, you know, sacrifice one four checker. Let them be aggressive. You can't just let a good team come out of the zone at you 100 miles an hour while you're standing still, um, especially with young players who are going to kind of get flat-footed. And then uh, hope and pray that you can uh, just plug the, plug the zone here too and uh, try to minimize their chances, clear the rebounds. If 80% of goals come off of a rebound, then uh, you know you wanna wanna make sure you're clearing those rebounds to the less dangerous areas. Okay, so Jay's question I hope can help all of you, and good luck, Jay.